Hey, haven't seen you guys here in a while. What it's been like probably like five minutes since that last video, the unboxing. But hey, it's launch day today. And today we're taking a look at the new Gigabyte GTX 560 non-TI edition. So now we're gonna take a look at the features. We'll look and see how fast this card is against the competitors and against the TI version. And at the end of the day, why you would want to buy this card for your system. So let's just jump right in and check out the features of this new 560 non-TI edition card. So let's just jump in and take a look at the card itself. We'll do our normal measurement. We're going to measure this. The card is sizing it at nine and a half inches long. On the screen behind me will be the centimeters for you guys who want that. Then the card is four inches high. Not too bad at all. Starting right off the bat, we can see the cooling solution that Gigabyte has provided. This is their new wind force cooling. This has a two dual fan solution. It blows the air right against the card. Underneath that, there is a big giant silver heat sink and then there are copper heat pipes running all around the side of the card, which I'm gonna spin over to show you guys here, which are keeping the card cool. Now I know you guys are wanting to know what features are. Well, the core clock on this is 810 megahertz. The shader clock is 1620. It's 4008 on the memory clock. You have 336 CUDA cores and you have one gigabyte of DDR5 memory. Now, a couple of things to take note. Between this card and the TI, there are 48 less CUDA cores. We have a 12 megahertz lower core clock and a 25 megahertz lower shader clock. Those are the main differences of this card beyond obviously the cooling solution. So in the back, there's two power fans. They require two six pin powers each. The cables for these come inside the box. You don't have to worry about that if you have an old school power supply, there's no problem at all. You have 75 watts here, 75 watts here, and an additional 75 watts through the PCI slot for your power requirements. Now this card's actually really nice. And we can see on the side here, the WinForce logo. I'm gonna get that down there so you guys can see that. You can see the WinForce logo. That's for their new fan solution. Really does run really nice and cool. I wanna emphasize this. Good job here from Gigs. These guys did a really excellent job on the cooling here. It's quiet and really does keep it cool. Let you guys see the very back of the card. Nice blue PCB. Gigabyte's known for this. Take a look at the rear I.O. We have two of your standard DVI ports, and then we have a mini HDMI port. There's actually a connector in the box to go from mini HDMI to standard HDMI if you so have that cable. So that pretty much up all the wraps up the features for this card. So now we're gonna go ahead and we'll take a look at performance. We'll see how it compares against the TI version and against other cards in its same class. Let's move on. So at the end of the day, what do we have here? Basically, the 6950 one gigabyte card from AMD is priced at around $200. This card is basically the head-to-head -head competitor with that card, because now this card has jumped down to $200. The TI version costs $60 more at some places, even $70 other places. This model that we're seeing from Gigabyte is going to hit the market at about $198 to $199. You might even be able to find it on sale somewhere else. So overall, this card ran very cool. The cooling solution that's on the card, it actually runs really quiet and actually keeps the card running very cool. We didn't do really any overclocking extensively with this card in this review. We just showed you that clock speed's normal, but at those speeds, everything ran great and it ran very cool. At the end of the day, I have to say for the $200 price range, this new Gigabyte GTX 560 non-TI version is an editor's choice card. It runs good, it runs cool, it's priced well, and it'll do SLI so you can do two cards at once to get 
get double the poor performance, which will be one of our next reviews. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel.